Hi guys, this is the audio full and for today we're going to review the Shit Mari 3 DAC. I've always said that when shopping for DACs, ditch the entry level and go for the R2R DACs like the Modi Motibit or Card Mojo. Well, because for me, most entry level DACs sound the same and the DAC on your stream is probably good enough. Then a couple of months ago, I stumbled onto the audio science review site where they reviewed and provided signal over noise and distortion measurements of lots of DACs. The shit DACs performed quite poorly and it was recommended instead to go for higher measuring DACs like the Topping D30 which only costs 120 US dollars but it has a very good score of 107 and it easily bests the $2,000 Yggdrasil which scored only 86 as well as the $250 Modi Multibit at 82. The Korg Cutis was quite good as well at 114 so it should easily outperform the Yggdrasil as well. But then, I just lent my Yggdrasil to a friend who was doing a home demo of the Cutis and he liked the Iggy much better. Such that he didn't get the Cutis. So it got me a bit curious. Measurements or listening ear? Which do I prefer? Well, it turns out that the new Mod 3 also measures 107, same as the Topping D30, and should also theoretically outperform the Iggy and Mimbi. So let's put it to the test. But before that, let's take a closer look. They pretty much have the same casing and finish. The only difference is a toggle switch for the inputs versus a button and input indicators for the MIMBY. At the back, it's mostly the same. RC outputs, coax and optical, then a micro USB for the USB input and another for power. While the MIMBY uses a bigger USB and a 16 back power supply and a switch. Both are pretty small and you can actually bring the Modi 3 along with you if you use a power bank. But it's not really portable unless you have a magician's pocket. Tested with the KEF LS50s, Shit Ragnarok and two Chromecast audios. The MIMBY was my preferred DAC for all my test jacks so I won't run through them one by one. But instead I'll provide key observations. Base was surprisingly tighter and grippier in the Mod E3, although there was more extension and a little bit more texture in the MIMBY. The MIMBY has a better soundstage in terms of depth and width, and it's also more holographic. Vocals are slightly more forward in the MIMBY and a bit more solid. And for instruments, the MIMBY also has better timbre, more body in the piano, and it just sounds more alive than the Mod E3. The Mod E3 does sound a little bit cleaner, but as more instruments come to play, the advantage of being cleaner is lost and it starts to have difficulty separating the instruments. All in all, despite being trumped by the MIMBY, the Mod E3 is a decent DAC and does better than my Chromecast Audio as well as my Blue Sound Node 2. It's a very nice starter DAC, especially if you want to try out your hand in that never-ending upgrade path. The MIMBY, however, is another step ahead for my subjective listening test. And this is despite meshing poorly, so I guess I'm one of those persons who believe in magic instead of science. What I like the most about the Mod 3 is the bass. Although it's not as extended as the MIMBY, it does do the bass a little bit tighter and a little bit grippier. It also sounds very very clean, and this would be easily heard in acoustic songs. It also provides reasonable value for the what it gives, which is much better than your common streamer. What I don't like about it is that it doesn't do DSD and MQA and I actually don't listen to those formats but if you do, find something else. Another thing I don't like is that there's lots and lots and lots and lots of competition. They use the same chips, they also measure well and to be honest, they probably would sound the same as well or mostly the same. But I think it's the Mod 3 would still be part of my top choices because if you haven't noticed by now, I'm a shit fanboy. But what I hate the most about the Mod 3 is that yes, it's better than your common streamer, it is a step ahead, but I'd still hold out for a Chord Mojo or a Mimbi or Modi Multibit. It is a step ahead, but it's not a, a huge step and 
I think you'd just be left wanting for more more upgrades and just spent $99 for nothing. Because you just change it. You just upgraded it. And if there's someone who believes that all DAC sound the same and you need to convince them otherwise, this would probably be not the DAC that you would use to do that. It's not because it sounds the same with everything else, but it's more like that person has already heard the same chip, that same sound chip signature in another DAC, in another phone, or another integrated app, or another streamer. Because it's really so common. So I would just really hold out for something more unique. And I say, I've been audio fooled. It's good shit, but you've heard that shit before. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just write them down below. See you in the next video.